Well, my details are few. Tinny and Mayor JC Nicholas gave an update on the tiny island raced by Super Typhoon Yuti. The Mayor earlier today talked to took to apology to Facebook Live earlier today for the delivery. I can report to you that Tinian has been devastated by the typhoon, he said. Many homes have been destroyed. Our critical infrastructure has been compromised. We currently have no power and water at this time. Our ports at this time are inaccessible. Several other points within the island are inaccessible. However, we have deployed the DPS defence personnel to undergo rescue operations based on the communications we have received throughout the night, requesting to be rescued from their homes and to be provided with transportation to a more secure shelter. The island has two shelters, the Tibian Elementary School and the Tinian Gymnasium. Both locations are using alternative sources as backup power. Unfortunately, that is a very clear and distressing message from the Mayor. Currently on the screen is another flyover of the typhoon by the International Space Station. This was about 40 minutes ago. And whilst we uh, view uh, the rear view uh, camera, you can clearly see how wide the uh, system is. The location of the typhoon, according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre, 15 decimal 8 degrees north, 144 decimal 2 degrees east. Maximum sustained winds 145, gusting 175, and is currently located 99 nautical miles west northwest of Saipan, tracking west northwest at 12 knots over the last six hours. Animated multispectral satellite imagery shows the Super Typhoon 31W has maintained a well-defined eye with deep convection surrounding it. The Himawari 8 visible satellite image shows the 20 nautical mile wide eye. The initial intensity of 145 knots is based on a slight weakening trend due to an eyewall replacement cycle and is hedged between the Vorak current intensity C1. Estimates are T7.5, 155 knots from the PGTW, RG or RJTD and the KNES. Environmental analysis shows the Super Typhoon 31W is experiencing a moderate vertical wind shear 15 to 20 knots near radial outflow. Sea surface temperatures also remain favourable near 30 degrees Celsius. 31W is tracking along the southwest of periphery of a subtropical ridge located to the northeast. The southeast of periphery 
of a steering ridge located to the northwest. Around the 72 hour mark, the typhoon will continue to track to the west northwest while positioned between the aforementioned steering ridges model. Guidance remains in fairly good agreement through 24 hours, indicating a west northwest track. Now, here's a look at the NOAA floaters. They quickly diverges after that with a spread of 470 nautical miles by the 72 hour mark. One model, GMS M is the outliner to the southwest, indicating a westward track with the NEF gem, the outlier, to the northeast, indicating a weak curve scenario. The Joy Typhoon warning said a forecast track is placed near the multi model consensus. In the middle group of a trifurcation favouring the ECMWF, HWRF, and the GFS trackers. However, there's low confidence in the later part of the centre's warning. Now here's the current warning chart from the setup. Wave height was uh, 50 feet, came down to 18 feet and currently it's around uh, 30 feet I think. But I will clarify that in a later update. EPS track guidance. This is at 18 UTC on the 24th. And the late cycle track guidance. They cycle intensity guidance, a couple of them indicated the Cat 5 system. And there wasn't really much support bar two models for Cat 5 status. The upper level divergence. And it's around 40 knots. The wind shear. The red's unfavourable, yellow neutral, and the green is favourable. An apology for the croakiness in my uh, voice. and the 24-hour shear tendency. And you can clearly see that the shear tendency has improved. And one of my favourites, the A50 metabar vorticity. And central pressure of the typhoon at this point in time is around 9-11 millibars.
You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page. You're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force13. You can also add force13 on Skype and fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.